Hey everybody, today on Rado Runs Through we are previewing Autobahn. But before I get going, please turn your subtitles on to the Klingon channel so that when I make rules goose, you'll know what they are. And if you've done that, well then welcome to Germany. It's 1946, and in the days following the war, the country is trying to get back on its feet economically. And one of the biggest drivers of the growth of Germany over the next century is going to be the Autobahn. This massive roadway, which at the beginning of the game is running north to south from Hamburg down to Kralsheim. And over the course of the game, we are going to be upgrading the Autobahn and expanding it. Most importantly, so that we can connect to foreign countries like Italy or Switzerland or um, you know uh, Denmark. So that we can ship our goods and uh, start to build back the economy. And uh, that's what I'm going to be doing. And in this two-player game, I am the green player. Jen is the yellow player. And as part of setup, we got a couple of targets. One is an efficiency route. I would like to make a uh, complete line from via the Autobahn, or multiple Autobahns, I should say, between Nuremberg and Amsterdam. So, Nuremberg over here, all the way up to Amsterdam over here. And the sooner I can do that, the better. Because this game is going to take place from 1946 to basically 2020. And um, over all these years, we're going to be playing through three eras. And at the end of each era, if I have this particular route up and running, I stand to make money and maybe even get some promotions, depending on how efficient this particular route is. Now, I've also got targets that uh, I want to deliver certain goods to certain countries. So, let's like, see. What do I want to deliver to Amsterdam? Amsterdam, I want to deliver automobiles if I can, because then I will get to upgrade one of the cards in my deck. And you could kind of think of this as a very slow acting deck builder. At the beginning of the game, everybody has a hand of the same six cards that let us work on the six different autobahns. The black one that runs north and south, this orange one that runs east and west, this red one, this green one, this purple one, and this white one. Now, if you look closely, you'll notice there's also a yellow autobahn, and I do not, and neither does Jen, I don't have a card that lets me work on the yellow autobahn because that's East Germany. And uh, not until we get to 1990 and the country is reunified will we be able to um, expand into this section and get access to pharmaceutical goods that we could ship out of the country and upgrade cards and all kinds of stuff. So all of this stuff waits to get added to the game until we have finished the second era. And then from 1990 to 2020, um, the expansion will really explode as we race to the end and try to bring economic prosperity. So I've got this target. I want to get this set up as fast as I can. Um, and uh, if I do, I want to deliver some cars uh, via that line to Amsterdam so I can upgrade one of my cards. So maybe these are my early goals I'm giving for myself. I start with uh, 24 Deutschmarks and this hand of cards. And how does it work? What do I do on my turn? Well, there's a very handy-dandy player aid here that I printed out. By the way, I should say, folks, everything you're seeing today is prototypes. Uh, you can hit that eye up in the top right corner of the screen to go check out the Kickstarter page. This is a little bit more prototype than most because I had to print this out myself. But it does a pretty good job of breaking down how a turn works. So the first thing I do on my turn is, if I have previously can. Uh, completed any deliveries. This is a pickup and deliver game in addition to a deck builder, in addition to a route builder and everything else. If I complete any deliveries, I could cash them in and get a bonus. Let's begin the beginning of the game. Obviously, that hasn't happened yet. So we're going to skip to my main phase where most of the time, I'm going to play a card and uh, perform the action depending on where I played it. It's kind of like a worker placement game with these cards. Instead, I could spend my whole turn recalling all my cards back to my hand and I will make a coin, <coughs> a Deutschmark for every card I get back. Or I can forget about the cards for a turn and use one of my employees to get government funding. In the first era, I can make 12 Deutschmarks. So if I'm low on cash, I can spend a whole turn just getting some funding. Although you can only do that once in each era. Now, in addition to all of that, if I had any bonus tiles, I can use one of them per turn. I don't have any, uh, so I'm not going to be worrying about that either. And the last thing is, if I've got trucks on the road making deliveries, I can potentially move them forward depending on what card I played and where the truck is. Is. So, that's the basics. I'm going to play a card. And uh, it lets me work on the white, the orange, the green, the purple, the red, or the black Autobahn. So, because I want to get Nuremberg connected, as you can see, well, um, there's already some Autobahn built up. So it makes sense, maybe, for me to play the orange or the white card so that I can build in the orange or the white section and get on this main line. 
And, um, you know, and then I could like, I could just continue the orange straight up here. Or I could say, oh, if I connect to orange, then maybe I come up here to the green and then work my way down there and build this line. Now, I want the, the line between these two cities to have as few uh, segments or sections as possible. Um, so, let's see. If I go the white way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If I go the gray orange way, one, two, three, four, five, six. So, that's much better. But if I go the longer route, which means I make use of roads that are already there, like say if I go one, and then this is all built, two, three, four, five, or one, and I come up here, two, three, four, five. So, <clears throat> because I'm in a race, I am trying to get this line built before the first era is over, it might make sense to try to use some of the stuffs here. So, let's start out by playing my orange card. Okay. And I want to use this to do work along the orange autobahn. Now, wherever I'm going to do work, uh, wherever I'm going to expand, it has to touch the existing motorway. I can't say, oh, I'm going to build a line over there. i got to build off of this. So that means if I'm going to build, I could build here, which is going to connect Nuremberg, or I could connect here, which gets me halfway to Frankfurt. Now, where do I play this card? Well, if you look at my player board over here, there are one, two, three, four, five places I could put this. And what that means is, if I put this over here, I'll load up a truck and start trying to deliver stuff on the orange Autobahn. If I come over here, I'll upgrade an existing um, link on the orange Autobahn. Or I'll build a station on the orange Autobahn. Um, now, what I want to do is actually start building the orange Autobahn because it doesn't exist. So I'm going to put this in this slot. And as you can see, I can put up to three cards from my hand into building. And uh, that means, um, you know, eventually, remember, I'm going to spend a turn recalling all of my cards. So, uh, if I wanted to build again on the orange, I wouldn't be able to do it until I got recalled my orange card back. But in the meantime, I could build on the green, or the purple, or the red. So I'm going to put this here. This is the first time I am building. And if we come over here and look a little bit more closely, yeah, of course I want to do this. So, I am going to grab the first road piece from over here. I will put it there, and a bunch of stuff happens. First of all, I've got to pay. So let's take a closer look up here. We are in the first era, which is uh, 1946 to 1966. And during this era, putting a single uh, Autobahn piece down like I just did costs six. Now, uh, if you're trying to do a double link, which has two pieces in it, uh, two uh, sections in it, each section costs four. If you're trying to upgrade an existing link, it costs six. And um, this is a reminder that if you are driving your truck, it can move up to two sections on an autobahn. So anyway, I gotta pay six for this little neck of the woods here. Remember, I started with twenty-four, so there goes twenty. I will get uh, fourteen in change. Boom. Right? 20 minus 6 is 14. There we go. Okay. And so, I have built. Hooray! And now here's the thing, folks. Remember, I said, the existence of the Autobahn is what is going to drive economic development of Germany. And that's going to happen right now because Nuremberg is connected to this central artery, which means its value as a city increases. It started out as nothing because it wasn't connected. But now that it is connected, it jumps to two. This is a value two city. But we're not done because over here at uh, Würzburg, Würzburg is now connected to two different Autobahns. It is connected to the Black Autobahn and the Orange Autobahn. So Würzburg just jumped, doubled in value to be worth four. It's economic output because it's now got two different motorways it's running on. It doesn't matter how many cities Würzburg is connected to. It matters how many Autobahns are connected. So even if I then you know, built some more roads over here to connect to Frankfurt, this wouldn't increase anymore because Würzburg is already on the orange and it's already on the black. So there's one last thing that happens as part of a uh, building. I take one of my employees and I send them over there to the Bundes Autobahn, the federal office for um, Autobahn construction, and I put them at the orange desk because I just contributed to the development of the orange Autobahn. Now, this is kind of an area control element because when we finish the first era, Every um, desk over here that has workers on it is going to bring in income. Um, and the income has to do with how long the Autobahn is and, and all kinds of stuff. So, um, we when we get there, I'll show you. But right now, whatever money the orange Autobahn is going to make, 
I'm going to get all of it because I've got the only employee here. Now, as part of setup, both Jen and I have an employee on the black Autobahn line, which I guess it means you could imagine uh, we were responsible for two of these links on the black Autobahn that were built as part of setup. So we are sharing the value of the black Autobahn, but I've got sole ownership, or I will get, I'm the only one getting income off the uh, orange Autobahn. And so, I have a vested interest in making this orange Autobahn as valuable as possible. And that might be another thing I'm working on, in addition to trying to complete this line, and trying to make deliveries, and all the rest of it. But anyway, that was my turn. Remember, you play a card, you do what it says wherever you put the card. And then, at the end of your turn, since I played an orange card, if I had a truck loaded up and driving on the orange Autobahn, I would get to make it move further. It's an automatic thing that happens. Now, at the beginning of the game, I have not loaded any of my trucks, so I'm going to skip that phase. We are done, and we're moving on to yellow. It is Jen's turn, and what is she going to do? She's got the same cards as me. She's got her own goal. She wants to connect Mannheim to Copenhagen. She wants to get up to Denmark, so Mannheim is down here. Copenhagen is up there. Now that's interesting. This line is going to be a bit easier to do because it only needs 1-2 purple and then 1-2 red and um, it'll be pretty efficient because it'll use what's already there. I should say, by the way, folks, I um, I was the first player in reverse turn order. Players get to draft one of these. In a two-player game, there are three. So Jen took this one because she could see it was going to be much easier to do because it would efficiently use the black that was already there. So Jen wants to get this thing uh, completed before we finish the first era. And the first era is done once all of these uh, roads are built, there's 10 of them. So once nine more roads are built, we are going to pause the game and trigger the end of the first era, which means we will score based on um, you know, our, our, our mastery of the Autobahns, based on our efficiency on these tracks, and do some other stuff as well. So, Jen is up first. She's got the same cards as me. What is she going to do? Well, she could start building roads as well. She could play her purple card and say, connect this right here. Uh, so she can start working down to... Oh, not not um, not Basel. Where was she trying to get to? Oh, Monheim, right there. And by the way, if Jen does make this connection to Monheim as part of her goal, it's only a little hop, skip, and a jump to get over to Switzerland where we could start delivering more stuff. Um, right. I should say, over the course of the game, we are going to build 10 and then 12 and then 14 lines. Which means, at the end of the game, almost the entire Autobahn, as we know it today, will have been built. So uh, there's going to be lots more options for delivering as the game goes on, as we connect to more of these foreign countries. And later on in the game, once Eastern Germany Germany, once there's reunification and all of this opens up and becomes a bonanza, a boom town of opportunity. But anyway, so Jen could play purple, start trying to work her way down here, which is interesting, by the way. If she does that, Jen knows I want to make a line to Amsterdam. She knows that. This is public knowledge. If she puts this purple here, then I might try to piggyback off of that and keep on going to Amsterdam. I, Jen might be creating an opportunity for me if she does that. But you know what? She's not going to do that right now. She, uh, right now, I started working on the Autobahn. That's literally the name of the game. So I'm just getting to work trying to build it. Jen is going to focus inward. She's going to focus on herself a little bit first by playing a card to get some technology. So which one is she going to play? I think at this point, Jen does not really care so much about the green Autobahn. So, she is going to play this card, not to interact with the green Autobahn, to extend it, to upgrade it, to put stations on it, etc., etc. She is going to play this to the technology space. Let's go ahead and zoom in on her board over there. So what that means is, because she played the green here, she can take this green um, technology cube and make an investment, either in the ability to upgrade existing Autobahns, the ability to load up trucks and do deliveries, or the ability to make um, uh, service stations, gas stations along the Autobahn. And by investing in one of these technologies, Jen is tipping her hat that she really wants to focus on an upgrade a delivery, or a station strategy. Now, I think, Jen, she's going to make this investment in trucking, which means from now on, whenever she loads a truck, she gets to make progress on 
this progress meter down here. And the further you go up this, the more bonuses you unlock. You keep on going, eventually you get to the end and you just go in a circle, just making money and getting promotions like crazy. So, Jen is setting herself up. She used this not to invest in the Autobahn, to invest in herself. She took the green and so she is now a better trucker, a better deliverer. And um, if we look back here again, you will notice Jen could only play one card to this. So if on her next turn, she said, oh, I wanted to play purple and grab a purple cube and further invest in this or whatever. Well, she can't can't do it because you can only play one card to this. Jen will have to recall all of her cards to her hand before she can make another investment in tech. All right, so that was Jen's turn. She played a card and uh, did what it said. She didn't have any trucks on the board. She hadn't made any deliveries, so the rest of it is over. It is my turn again. And me, I just want to keep on focusing on my route right now. I mean, I could play a card. I can do this once to get some tech. But right now, I'm not worried about upgrades or trucking. Or I'm just trying to get the Autobahn built. Because that's what we're here to do. That's what the Bundes Autobahn, the Federal uh, Office of uh, the Motorways, wants us to do. So what er what motorway am I going to work on? Because I can't work on orange again. If I could work on orange, if I had this card back, I would just keep on building. Because this could ultimately be, this is the shortest path between these goals. And I want it to be as short and efficient as possible. By using the black, I'm going to have to make it a longer route. But the problem is, my orange card is tied up. I could spend my entire turn recalling my orange card and making one buck, but that is horribly inefficient. There's no way I'm going to do that. So I need to decide... Well, you know, I was just talking about how Jen could do it. I could play purple and make this here because then that means the route would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Or I could go for the blue, uh, which means I'm using more of the motor, which is ultimately 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So that is a much less efficient road but I might want to do it anyway because here's the thing, folks. If I put this purple here, I can see... It's helping Jen. It's getting her closer to Monheim. And I am... But, you know, I mean, at some point, you, you, you can worry about what your opponents are doing and try not to give them opportunities. But at some point, it's unavoidable. You will be creating opportunities for them. I mean, for instance, if I um, say, okay, I'm not going to expand this uh, purple line. I'll expand the green line instead. And then my, my track will be like this. And then, hey, I'm not helping Jen get closer to Monheim. Yay. But by putting this green line here, I'll be giving Jen first dibs on a station. And she would be able to play her green card and build that station. And then that means if ever any deliveries are done along this section of the Autobahn, Jen will be getting income. So, you're always creating opportunities for other players. So that's it's something you care about, but at some point you have to decide, well, what's best for me? And I think, I think it is best for me. Um, you know, I'm going to play my purple card. I'm going to build another um, link or you know, another, I'm going to extend the Autobahn further. And it, since it's purple, this is the only place I could put it. You can see there's a roadblock here because to try to build a line to Jenna in East Berlin, well, again, we can't do that until we get to the 90s. So I'm going to build here. This is the second of 10 roads or Autobahn uh, pieces that will be built. And again, it's going to cost me six. So there goes 10. I will get four in change. I am burning through cash. But um, Frankfurt is now. Uh, its economy is booming by being connected to the beating heart of our country. And uh, Bod Hirschfeld is now on the black and the purple line, so it jumps up to four as well. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And um, so, uh, last thing, I take another of my employees, and now I've got people. I've got connections in the Bundes Autobahn, uh, and that's going to hopefully pay out big for me when we get to the end of the round. Now, at any time, Jen, of course, could start expanding down here as well. And uh, But anyway, that was my turn, and I think, yeah, talking about it, Jen is now going to play a purple. She's going to build her first. She is going to pay six, uh, so she gets 14 and change. All righty. And yeah, Jen was hoping that's what would happen. That's why she waited and said, hey, I'm going to do some tech while my opponent actually gives me the first step. And so, boom, Jen just built that. And so, she now has a seat on the purple table also. And any income at the end of the era that's going to come from the purple autobound has to get split between us. Although Jen has ambitions. And she might not be splitting this income by the time we get there. So anyway, uh, so Jen built this. She paid. She got here. Oh, and um, now Frankfurt does not increase in value anymore because Frankfurt was already connected to the uh, purple Autobahn. It still is. So it stays the same. But Monheim is now hooked up. So it gets a 2 2 as well. 
Okay. And now, Jen is halfway there. She just needs to play red twice to get up to Copenhagen and her super efficient thing. And I helped her do it! But it's helping me too. Okay. So that was Jen's turn. It is my turn again. And now... Here's what I'd like to do. I would like to play orange, please, so that I can go here and continue my line. My orange is already tied up because I did that one. So, I think I am done expanding the roads for a bit. I mean, I could expand the, the red, the green, or the black. I could do any of those things. But, um, nope, I mean, I, now that I've committed to this, I want to keep on going around this way. Ultimately, I might want to make the route more efficient by filling this in as well, so the route could get even shorter. But this is kind of my goal, and um, yeah, I, I can't push any farther. So, I think it's time to shift it up. And you know what? Jen made an investment in technology. Maybe I should as well. I think I don't necessarily have big dreams right now for the green line. Yeah, let's say. Or the red line. Hmm. But you know what? Here, I want to hold on to my red card. Because if Jen plays her red card to extend up towards Copenhagen, then I could finish the job and get a nice bonus token for my trouble. So I don't think I want to play my red card, because I think Jen might be expanding up there. I mean, I know she wants to eventually. So I'm going to hold on to my red card. I'm going to play my green card. And I'm going to play it to make an investment in myself. Which means this turn, I'm not doing anything for green. I'm going to take my green thing. And I think I like stations. I think I want to start building stations and getting passive income from that. So I'm going to make an investment. Um, and now that means on future rounds, I want to build stations wherever possible. And at the beginning of the game, I could build a station here on the black Autobahn and here on the black Autobahn. So, and if this gets filled up with red, then I could build a station there too. And here's the deal. From now on, every time I build a station, I move up one step on this progress meter. And once I move twice, I get an upgrade and then another upgrade and a promotion and all kinds of cool stuff. So, that was my turn. Um, as you can see, turns can be pretty quick and easy. Okay, it is now Jen's turn again. She would love to continue pushing purple. No, no, she doesn't need to. She doesn't need to. She made in Monheim. If she did keep pushing to purple, hey, if she built here, she would get another progress upgrade. And then we'd be one step away from Basel, Switzerland. Um, but she doesn't worry about that. She, um, well, she wants to play her red card and keep on building up to Copenhagen. But she's worried about that. She knows I've still got my red card. You can see I haven't played it. And she knows if she does this, she's giving me the opportunity to do that. But, you know, again, like I said before, you can worry about stuff. You could wait, um, you know, because, you know, maybe somebody else will build there. But, I mean, you know, Jen does want to have this line up and running. But now, there's something else she could do, too. Remember, Jen is uh, invested in loading trucks. Maybe she wants to take a break for a second and load a truck and then finish this line. Maybe if I were to build this for some reason, then Jen could finish it. So, if Jen's going to load a truck, well, she's going to have to use one of her cards. And the card she uses tells her where she could load the trucks. Now... Considering the fact that she's ultimately planning to connect to Copenhagen, uh, to Denmark, Denmark wants Jen... Uh, well, if she delivers chemicals, she will get a progress upgrade. If she delivers anything but chemicals, she'll get a couple of Deutschmarks. So, if she's going to deliver to Copenhagen, she wants it to be chemicals. And where do you get chemicals? Down here in Würzburg or over here in Hamburg. And so, if Jen wanted to load a truck in Würzburg or Hamburg, if we take a closer look at them, you can see Jen would have to play a black card or an orange card to load up in Hertzberg because well, Würzburg is on the black and the orange line. If Jen wanted to load up to get chemicals in Hamburg, she would have to play a red or a black. Now, she's already planning on using her red to build this line, so that doesn't make sense. But she could play her black card right now, not to expand the black motorway or upgrade it or build stations, but to load up a truck. Because this truck would only be a hop, skip, and a jump away from Copenhagen. But there's a problem with that, too. After the truck gets um, um, loaded up, it will be able to drive automatically. And in the first era, trucks can move two spaces. But if Jen loads a truck here, it doesn't have any roads. So it behooves Jen to start building the road before she loads the truck so that there, there'll be something to drive on. So I think Jen's going to hold off for a second. Jen is going to play her red card. And that's going to cost her six again. So there goes six. And we're getting closer to the end of the first era. And boom, because Jen built on that spot, she is the first to start making progress, although she needs to go again before she can upgrade any of those, which will be her first upgrade. And um, let's see. 
So, um, she didn't reach... Co well, first of all, the foreign country cities never increase in value, whether they're connected or not. Th this is always going to be a four. But Hamburg now has gotten a little bit happier because they're on the black and the red line. Although, no, they're not. Because, again, if we look a little bit closer, um, for Hamburg to, to get the benefit of being on the red line, it actually has to connect to a city. It's only halfway connected. So um, Hamburg cannot um, increase by being connected to Copenhagen yet. But that might come in the future. So Hamburg stays as a lowly two. Jen gets her bonus. She paid. And um, now, if she loads a truck, there's at least a little bit of road that that truck can drive on to try to reach Copenhagen. Okay, so we're back to me. And I've got an interesting decision. Remember, I was holding on to my red card because I suspected this might happen. I knew Jen wanted to do this. And so now, here's the deal. I could play this red card to um, finish this road, which means I'm helping Jen. Because I can see that, um, you know, I mean, you know, I'm helping me too. I can also deliver stuff to Copenhagen. What do I want to deliver to Copenhagen? I also want to, wow, interestingly, we both want to deliver chemicals to Copenhagen. Wow, that's really interesting. So, I mean, that was uh, coincidental. Uh, it could have been that I wanted to deliver automobiles to Copenhagen. Or it could have been that I wanted to deliver appliances to Copenhagen. But in this game, we both got these random, um, you know, bills of lading, these orders, and we both want to deliver chemicals. Chemicals are very, very close. That is interesting. So, here's the deal. If I build here, we both have the opportunity to deliver to Copenhagen and start getting some uh, paydays. Um, but I, by building in this space, will get this bonus chip. Remember, on your turn, most of the time you play a card, do what it says, and once per turn, you can use a bonus tile as well. This bonus tile lets me build a, uh, a, a station for free. I don't have to spend a card to build it. And remember, I like building stations. So that's all very, very cool. But I have another option for my red card. Instead of using it to build this last line, which will cost me six, and I'm getting kind of broke. I'm running low on cash. Um, instead, I could use my red card to build this station right here, uh, which will make me progress, because remember, I'm the master of station building. And then that means Jen will have to finish this road later on. So I've got an interesting choice. I am going to play my red card. Is it to finish the road, which will help Jen immediately and help me later? Or is it to build a station here, which won't do anything for me? Well, it will give me a little bit of progress immediately. But it means once this station is up and once this road is completed, every time we drive by here, I will get passive income. So what do I want? Uh, you know what? If if um if this had been like a load truck bonus or something like that, I might say, hey, I, I want to build a station. But because my whole thing is making stations, and this is a make a station as a free bonus action, I think I am gonna spend six. We're gonna build another road. And boom. Okay. So um there we go. I've got that bonus. But what else happens? Now Hamburg is connected on the red line, so it jumps up in value. I put somebody on the oh wait hold on a second I forgot during Jen's turn folks so I always watch the Klingon subtitles I completely forgot when Jen built that red she got on the desk and now I'm on the desk as well and we are splitting the income from the red autobahn currently but things can change there can be some uh, moving and shaking over in these offices when promotions come around. So anyways, Jen says, yes, perfect. That is exactly what she was hoping for um, because now she will play her black Autobahn card. Not to build on the black Autobahn and make a connection to Aarhus or down here to Milan. Um, not to upgrade the Autobahn, but to load a truck on the black Autobahn. So... Um, because she played a black card, she could load in Hamburg or Hanover or Bad Hirschfeld or Würzburg or Karlsheim. Any of the cities. Um, and remember, she wants chemicals. She wants them to go to Copenhagen. It'll be a very short drive. So Jen grabs her first truck, puts it in Hamburg, where if she, she could have gotten here by playing either the red or her black card. And she loads this up with chemicals. And by the way, folks, remember I said this is a prototype. Uh, my prototype includes just having normal blank cubes. If you check out the Kickstarter page, I believe these uh, goods cubes will actually have little icons on them indicating what they are. So anyway, Jen has loaded up chemicals. And uh, remember, up till now, we have just been 
playing a card and doing what it says. But remember, at the end of your turn, if you played a card that matches the um, Autobahn that you have a truck on, your truck will move automatically. And that's what just happened. Jen ha played a black card. She has a truck on the black Autobahn, because Hamburger is considered to be both on the black and the red Autobahn. And um, Jen is going to get to drive. Now remember, in the first um, era, trucks always drive by two. Later on, uh, as, you know, increases in efficiency and uh, motors and all kinds of stuff, trucks get faster. But for now, Jen is going to drive. One, two. And that had it automatically as a passive action. And Jen, if she could just drive one more step, she would make that delivery and um, get her upgrade. So, uh, that's that. But now, in the future, for Jen to get this truck to drive, she needs to play a red card. Doesn't matter what she does with the red card, whether she uses the red card to build stations, or do tech upgrades, or expand the road or whatever. As a bonus, when she plays a red card in the future, her truck will continue to drive and finish the delivery. The problem is, Jen's truck, or Jen's red card, is over here. All she's got now is her white and her orange. But there's one more thing, folks. Remember, because Jen made this investment, whenever she loads a truck, she moves up on the track too. Oops, I had us backwards. I had a re I had moved up on the track originally, um, right? No, 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 I'm sorry. No, 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 it wasn't me. Jen built there. So Jen had moved up on the track. She just moved up on the progress track again because of this passive bonus. And so she has gotten her first bonus. And what does that bonus mean? Well, it means flip one of her uh, limitations to expand. Remember, at the beginning of the game, we can build up to three times, we can load trucks once, we can build stations once, and we can upgrade um, tracks once. But... Um, Jen can now upgrade. If she wants to continue being a magnet of deliveries, if she wants to invest more technology, I think she's going to upgrade this. So she could now play two cards here because eventually she will have two trucks. And so that means she could play another card to load a second truck and have two trucks on the go, which doubles her chances of being able to get bonus movement out of the card she plays. So um, Jen did that. She's upgraded that. And uh, she is done and it is my turn again. And, um, you know, I'm starting to wonder, what should I do now? Uh, well, one thing I could do is, I could play this red card. I could do the exact same thing as Jen. I could load up a red truck. But the problem is, I'd want it to drive to Copenhagen just like Jen did. And um, what would happen is, there's a traffic jam here. I can't end my truck where another one is, so I'd only end up going one. But then I'd have to, on a future turn, go one, two, and I could make the delivery. Wow. We are now basically in a race because the first player to make a delivery to every country like Denmark up here gets a bonus and this is a double progress step so here's the thing if I go on ahead and I load up a truck here too and I start trying to drive if I could recover my red card faster and play it I could then finish it but the thing is Jen's got there first I suspect on Jen's next turn She's not going to play her orange or her white. She's probably going to spend an entire turn recovering her cards so she can finish that delivery. And if that's the case... Oh, and speaking of which, by the way, Jen also wants to recover her cards so she can get her purple back. Um, oh, no, no. She's already connected to Mannheim. So she she has finished her Mannheim to Copenhagen um, uh, line. So she wants to start investing in this line to make it more efficient in the future. But again, to do that, um, most of the line, is, the line is on purple, black, and red. So she needs to get her purple, black, and red cards back. So what am I going to do? Hmm... Well, I'll tell you, one thing I wish I had done was build a station there. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on, folks. I'm sorry. I got to rewind a tiny bit because before Jen took her turn to load up that truck and drive, when it was still my turn, I built. And I had this. And I could have used it immediately. I can use one per turn. So I used this on my previous turn to call in a favor with wherever and build my first station. And I had built my station right there. So, it doesn't cost anything to build a station, but it also doesn't get you any investment with the, uh, the, the, the Bundes, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the federal office. So, anyway, I had done this on my turn, and that means when we got to Jen's turn and she loaded up and started driving, she drove right by. Now, that's not that big a deal, because if we look at my board... What I get for Jen driving by is, if I drive by my station, I make two bucks. If Jen drives by, I make one. 
So I made one coin off of that, which isn't great, but you know what? Every coin helps in this game. I'm sure that's going to make or break me later on. So on my turn, I had built that station, and I suspect this is going to be a busy station because we both want to deliver chemicals to Copenhagen. We want to deliver other stuff, so hopefully I'll get a good payday. And the interesting thing is, when I had built that station on my turn, because of my investment in building stations, I had moved forward one. Okay, so... That was cool, to have gotten that little bit of a bonus off of Jen. So anyway, we're back to my turn now, after I'm done rewriting history. So am I going to do a red action? I could do a red action to load a truck. I could do a white action to work on the white line, or, or invest in technology. But I can't, because I can only ever invest in technology once. i got to call my cards back if I want to invest in tech. Uh, because that green is already there. Hmm... You know what, thinking about it more, when I used this thing on my previous turn, I don't think I did want to build it here. Because this is kill... I mean, yeah, cars will go by here a few times, but eventually we'll stop delivering to Copenhagen. Putting it on the main artery of the country, this station is going to get driven by a lot more. I think it made more sense to get my freebie, put it down there, which means I didn't get a buck because nobody has driven by it yet. But eventually, we're going to start loading stuff up in Würzburg. I mean, hey, maybe I want to load in chemicals in Würzburg and drive up this way. It'll take longer than Hamburg, but I'll get a visit. I think that makes more sense. I think it does. Okay, then. So, getting back to me, back to my turn. The other reason is because, hey, now I'll play my red card and I'll build another station. And because I'm... Uh, ooh! Yeah, yeah. I'll build another station. I'll build my second station. And now I'll put that back up in red. So I missed Jen. That's fine. I didn't get one buck. But eventually, I'll probably get um, four, five more bucks if Jen drives by it one more time and I drive by it two more times. But actually... Something has changed, folks, very importantly. Uh, because, as you notice, having built my second station, I have unlocked a second bonus. From now on, whenever, some, whenever I drive by one of my stations, I can choose to make two bucks or I can get an extra movement for my truck. If another player drives by my station, it's just the, lo the lower money. But as I build more stations, I have access to more and more bonuses I could choose from. Or more and more money I make from other people driving by my stations. So, um, you know, the sooner I do it, the better. And hey, because I just built my second station, I've made progress as well, just like Jen has. Yay! So, I'll go on ahead and upgrade my ability to make stations. That's pretty cool. Now... I can play another card here before I recover. Because that's a tricky thing, folks. Um, while you're playing your cards, you can always choose, kind of like Concordia, to spend a whole turn getting your cards back and you'll make some money. The more cards you pull back, the more money you'll make. But there's another thing. If you can find a way to efficiently use all the cards from your hand, then at the end of your turn, if you played your final card this turn, you'll get all your cards back without having to spend an entire turn recovering them. Now, you won't make the money, which is kind of a bummer, but you also won't waste time. Because if you want to spend a whole turn making money, you're better off just getting funding, because you can get 12 as opposed to 3 or 4 or 5. So, um, by doing this, I can, I can keep going, and I don't have to recall my cards necessarily, like I think Jen is going to do. So yeah, that made sense. I have now built a couple of stations. I've gotten a couple of things. I've upgraded that. I'm pretty happy with that. We're back to Jen. And Jen is now down to, is she going to play an orange and do something on the orange row? Because she can't use it for more in, in, uh, investment in technology. Or is she going to do something on the white line? I don't think she cares about either of those lines. So I think Jen is going to call it. She's going to say, hey, instead of playing a card, I'm going to collect my cards. And I'll get one coin per. So she gets them all back. There are four here. So Jen just made four Deutschmarks. There's a five. Get one back. And that was her whole turn. Okay, um, so we're back to me. I am continuing uh, to... Uh, let's see. So... Now, this white line, I can't really do anything with it. I can't build a station because I would have had to expand here to be able to build this station. But, here's an interesting thing. I am going to play... I'm going to make my third road build. And now I cannot build any more roads until I get my cards back. I'm going to work on the white autobahn. This is going to be the next one. We are getting close to the end of the era. There's only a few more to build here. I'm going to build it right there. That's going to cost me six. I am now completely broke. I have no cash. But um, Kreisheim is now connected to another city on the White Autobahn. So it increases, as does um, Nuremberg. These both jump up to fours. And that's going to pay dividends for me later. And I put one of my employees 
on the white Autobahn. So currently, I'm getting all the income from both of these, and I'm splitting the income for the rest. Okay, and you'll notice, by the way, here's the, the yellow desk. Nobody can get anybody on the yellow desk until we get to the era of unification and all the yellow Autobahn stuff opens up. So that was my turn. I just uh, built a line and made... So all of the... You know, this, this is a nice little economically booming area. That's pretty cool. Okay, it is now Jen's turn again. Jen's got a whole bunch of cards, but I'll tell you, she wants to play a red card because as soon as she does, this delivery will be complete. But she has to ask herself, what does she want to do on the red line? Uh, she doesn't want to do anything. She doesn't need to expand any of this. So she's going to play the red card to invest in technology again. Boom. And she is going to make herself an even better trucker. First thing she uh, got was, hey, when you load a truck, you make progress. Now, Jen has unlocked her second truck. She can have two trucks on the go. And remember, she already uploaded this, so she can load two trucks as well before she has to recall her cards. So that's pretty cool. All right, and because she played a red card at the end of her turn, she does she have a truck? Is it on a road that matches the color? Yes, it is. So the truck moves forward two, but it doesn't matter. It only had to move forward one to deliver to Copenhagen. And so, Jen has done it. By being the first to deliver to Copenhagen, she gets this bonus, which is one, two more steps on the progress track. Very nice. Um, and because she hit this on the progress track, she gets to upgrade her deck of cards. Oh yeah, that's going to be cool. But let's come back to that in a second. Because also, uh, we check over here to say, oh look, she she didn't she delivered chemicals. That's what Copenhagen won from her. So she takes one of these little delivery completed things, covers this up to indicate that on a future turn now, she can call this in whenever she wants. Um, now it's a one-time thing. Basically, Jen uh, can only have two... Uh, viable deliveries to uh, Denmark, which is either Copenhagen or Aarhus. Uh, if she delivers anything else, she'll get two bucks, and then she won't want to make a third delivery. Okay, anyway, though. So Jen did that. Uh, that was her delivery. She's got this that she could do on, on a future beginning of her turn. And more importantly, she gets to upgrade. Because you may have noticed down here, hey, what are all these? These have been here from the get-go. These are upgraded versions of cards. They do the same thing. If you play this card, it means you can interact on the red Autobahn line. But in addition to that, if you played this card to load a truck, that truck will move one step further than normal. And um, you know, this is the same one, but on the green line. Now this one, if Jen gets this, she says, hey, if I use this red Autobahn card to upgrade a um, line on the red Autobahn, then Jen will get more progress. She will make more progress. So, um, Jen now, because this icon says, hey, get rid of one of your old cards and replace them with one of these. And Jen definitely wants to hold on to black and red and purple. Those are the ones she really cares about. So she says, do I care at all about orange? Now she might care about orange because, um, you know, hey, if I start expanding over here, she could use her orange to build this last thing and this would give her another card upgrade. So I think she wants to hold on to her orange because she might piggyback on me because she knows I'm still trying to get to Amsterdam. Right. So she doesn't want to get rid of her orange. Now she could get rid of her red, but she wants to hold on to her reds as well. I think she decides she doesn't care about white. She is literally tossing this card to replace it with this one that makes her an even better trucker. And now a new one comes out. Hey, it uh, makes you uh, better at laying track on the purple Autobahn. Okay, which is interesting. But anyway, so Jen got that bonus as well. That was a big turn, lots of stuff going on. And uh, we'll see what Jen does next. Chances are she probably wants to play this to load a truck and get extra movement out of that truck. Okay. Because, hey, she could literally go one, two, three, and in a single turn, get, um, you know, because for Hamburg to Copenhagen, needs three steps. Jen can take three steps now. So that's probably what she's going to be doing pretty soon. Although, hey, that means I'll get some money because she'll drive past my uh, station. Yay. Okay, but anyway, back to me. I have one card left. I haven't, uh, and so I'm going to play it. I cannot build... I could upgrade, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put another station because I can put two stations out. So I am upgrading once again the bonuses I get from stations. And where am I going to put this? Well, it's going to have to be on the black and there's one place to put it. Right there. Okay. And now here's kind of a bummer. If I had recalled my card sooner so that I could have invested in technology again, say with, uh, with, with, the, with this card... Then um, the second level of my tech upgrade says, hey, every time I build a station, immediately get the benefit that I just opened. 
That would have been great. And I'm wondering, maybe I should have. Maybe I should have spent a whole turn calling all my cards back, getting a few bucks, so that I would be able to get um, this extra bonus when I built this station. But nope, I'm, I'm just trying to be peak efficient. Because now, at the end of my turn, I say, I built a station, um, I've increased the benefits, I will get... Uh, so from now on, if Jen drives by my stations, I'll make two bucks instead of one. And I know she's going to be doing that. So, and the important thing is, at the end of my turn, all my cards are gone, so I get them all back for free. I did not have to spend a turn recalling cards. Although, I'm still broke. And so that's a problem. Okay, back to Jen. And yeah, she's not going to mess around. She's going to use her new super red card and load up a truck on the red Autobahn and get to move three steps instead of two. So, and what the heck, she'll use her new fancy truck that she unlocked. And she will come over here to Hamburg. And she will load up another chemical. And then she will drive it three steps. One, two, three. And just made another delivery. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Now, she, there's no more bonus for being the first one to make a delivery there. And because she already got her good thing, she's just going to get two coins. Not that great. And interestingly, because she drove by my upgraded station, I also got two coins. All right. So, <sighs> does she want to do that then? Does she? Um, Maybe not. I mean, she was, she was excited about it. I mean, but she could instead, she could have gone south. And start driving down here because, hey, if she finishes the line to Milan, she could have delivered... Let's see, what does she get? If she delivers chemicals to Milan, to Italy, ah, she'll get another. She, Italy wants chemicals too. Oh my goodness. We're just delivering uh, chemicals to get a little two bucks is not that great. Getting two more steps on the progress track? Yeah. Hold the phone, everybody. Jen's not going to drive by my station. No, sir. She's going to load up. She's going to start heading south. Although, she's going to drive by my station anyway. One, two, three. It's a good thing I put that. I got stations everywhere. So I make two bucks regardless. But Jen would rather over the next... Now, the next time when she plays her black card to do whatever she's going to do, she will continue driving south. And she's ultimately wanting to get... I mean, either to Milan or... I mean, if she, if she um, finishes this up and builds two here, she could get to Vienna. What if she delivers chemicals to uh, Vienna? She would make four bucks because they want her to deliver automobiles to get eight. But anyway, yeah, Jen has a plan. She wants to keep building down here in time for this delivery to happen so she can move up two steps, whereupon she'll get her first promotion. Nice. Okay, so Jen called an audible. I've kind of wasted my time building that up there, but hey, at least it's made all my stations more valuable. All right, so that was Jen's turn. It is my turn. All my cards are back. Hoorah! But here's the problem. I'm practically broke. I will slowly make cash after Jen driving across my banana enough to actually build anything. Now remember, one of the things I can do is I can ignore cards and I can just get funding. And so that's how I could get my... You know, that's like taking a whole turn. But hey, if I want to take a whole turn to do nothing, I'd rather make um, 12 rather than like whatever Jen made, 4 or 5, when she recalled her cards. So I could do that right now, but I don't have to because there is other stuff to do. Uh, for instance, I could say, hey, you know what? I don't really care about green Autobahn right now. So I No, but I've already done this. Uh, so I could say, well, no, I want to use my orange to keep on building over here because, I mean, I got to get connected to Amsterdam and I need to do three orange builds and I've only got one orange card. Ugh, that's going to be a problem. But, um, you know what? Yeah, what the heck? Let's go on ahead and pause for a second. I'm not going to play any cards. I'm going to seek funding. I can do this once per era and I get 12. And if you don't do it, you lose it. We'll just move on to the second era. And if Jen doesn't do this, that's 12 bucks she threw away. So it's definitely something you want to do at some point. Stop, catch a breather, make some money. Because when we go to the second era, you, you'll, you'll, we'll, we'll each of us be able to get the 16 once and then the 24 once. So that was me. I could start building again. We'll come back to me in a minute. It is Jen's turn. Jen wants to keep on driving. So she is going to play black. And that is to extend, for the first time, the original black Autobahn. Okay, so, it's gonna, it still costs... Oh, I was going to say it costs six, but no. She wants to keep on connecting down here to Milan, because that's where she wants to deliver her chemicals. When she builds here, she's going to move forward on the progress track. Now, this is a double. Uh, a double? So far, we've only built on singles, on singles. <gasps> oh, no! Shoot, 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 folks! We did build doubles here. Oh, my gosh. 
we're both a little bit richer than I thought we were. Because when you build in a double length one, it costs four per section instead of six. So both of us have two more bucks, because I believe I spent six. And I'm sure at the time, Paulo was making fun of me in the Klingon subtitle saying, why is he paying six? He should be paying four. So both of us had a little bit more cash. Jen is going to build down here, which is going to move her up, and she only has to pay four. So there's a five, and she gets one and change. And she's moved up. And now, if she builds this last one, then... Uh, but in the meantime, because she played a black card, she gets to move her truck one, two more. And I say, hey, thanks for visiting my station. I make two uh, coins off of you. Hooray! And so Jen needs to play uh, black um, one, two more times before this delivery will happen. So this is just something that's happening in the background. Every time Jen plays a black card, uh, she will just get closer and closer to completing this drive. Okay, uh, but her black card is tied up now. She'll have to recover her cards before this truck will keep going. Unless, unless, no, 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 it's on a black right now, so she couldn't play an orange to divert it. Uh, it since it's, it's on the back, you know, it's interesting. This could start on black and then divert to another color and keep going, but you have to play the card that matches where the truck starts to get that bonus movement. So anyway, so Jen's continuing to drive, and now this is interesting. I wasn't expecting this, but yeah, I'm not going to miss out on that. I'm going to play my black card that I just got back, and I'm going to pay six bucks. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. No, not six. Four. Four bucks. Four bucks. Hey, everybody. And uh, finish this road. Is that one? No, I only spent five. One, two, three, four. Although, oh no. Oh no. Let's see. What are we? There are three more roads to be built before we're in the first era. I need to build them here, here, and here if I want to get connected to Amsterdam and get my payday. So, the problem is, if I build one of them down here, then there's only two, and I can't get my efficiency line done. Jen got hers done right away, but I have not. Oh no, and that's a big loss. Oh, But here's the deal. If I don't do this, Jen will. She can't. Because she doesn't have her black card. But Jen will. I mean, she might recall her cards immediately, only get a few bucks, and finish this. So here's the... I, I don't think... Yeah, because I'd have to orange, and I'd have to recover my orange, and orange, recover my orange, and orange, recover my orange. Oh, here's the deal. If I did an orange, and then recover my orange, and then orange, I bet you anything Jen will finish this for me. Because she'll be happy to say, oh yeah, I'll upgrade my deck for free, for building. Even if it helps me a little bit, it'll help her by getting her a stronger deck. So that's the thing. But if I start working on this, and then Jen recalls and then builds this, there is not enough roads. I think I have dilly-dallied too long. I spent too much time building stations and trying to be efficient, which means my Nuremberg to Amsterdam will have to wait until the second era. Ah! Well, if that's the case, then I might as well at least get something out of it. I will finish this line. And um, I paid four. I got eight. I'll just use this right now and take that eight. Ain't that great. Boom. Okay, so I'm loaded again. And um, uh, we have another place that we can ultimately make deliveries. Oh, and... All right, but Kralsheim does not get any more valuable because it was already connected to a city on the black line. It was already connected to a city on the uh, white line. So uh, this didn't make it any more prosperous. But it does mean Jen can continue driving south. But I at least made some nice cash out of it. Okay. But one thing I forgot, folks. Both of us have just built on the black line. Jen did it, and then I did it. So here's what happens. Jen went first. She took the third chair in um, the Buddhist Autobahn. And you can see, the black line has more chairs than anything else. We're not playing a three or four player game, so we ignore those chairs. So Jen took the third chair. This means Jen is now poised to get two-thirds of the income that the uh, black Autobahn generates at the end of the era. I'm not happy about that. That's not great. At all. But, um, you know, it is what it is. So, uh, but then what happens is, I just built on the Black Autobahn, so I'm going to take one of mine, and they come in, and I end up pushing myself out. So Jen is still getting two-thirds of the income from the Black Autobahn, which is the most valuable thing in the world right now. But, what happens to this person? Oh, they 
just got bumped up to corporate. They uh, have gone from just being overseeing construction to being able to work in the administrative offices. Now, this uh, worker is still here at the end of the game. They're worth two points to me. But what I want to start doing now is be on the lookout for the opportunity to promote. Because if I can promote, I can move them up. And if I, you know, remember, I've already started investing in stations. So if I promote up here to the station management administration, this means I'll get a victory point at the end of the game for every station. Or it could be two. Or it could be three. Or if I if I um, promote more people, it could be five points for every station I've built. So you can see, I'm starting to build a long term. And it starts by getting somebody bumped out of clerical work into proper admin. And I'm the first to do it. Okay. So that was pretty important. Because uh, we both built there. Right. Have I missed any builds? Right. We both built on... I think, I think we're caught up there. Okay. So that was my turn. and But in doing that... I sunk my Nuremberg to Amsterdam ambitions. Oh, well, can't do it all, can you? It is now Jen's turn. Jen has three cards to play. Huh. Let's see here. So, Jen, she can do a green thing, a purple thing, or an uh, orange thing. Hmm. I think she's going to play purple. And she is going to use this to load another truck. Because that's kind of her thing. She can load two trucks before recalling her cards. And because she played purple, that means she can load up a truck in Bod Hirschfeld. Here in the middle. Because I'll be either a black or a, or a... Because Bod Hirschfeld is on the black line and the purple line. So Jen is going to load up her second truck, which she unlocked. She is going to load that full of appliances. And because Jen just played a purple card, and this is on the purple space, this truck can move. It's going to move too. Where does Jen want to deliver these appliances? If she delivers them down to Milan, uh, down to Italy, she'll make two bucks. If she delivers them up to um, Copenhagen, she'll make two bucks. Currently, those are the only external markets we have access to, Italy and Denmark. So either way, Jen is going to make two. So she should decide uh, which is the better way to go. Well, one problem is, whichever if she goes north, she's going to have to drive by two of my stations. If she goes south, she's only going to have to drive by one. So I think it makes sense for her to go um, to go south. But there's a problem. She can move up to two, but if she goes south, she'll go one, and then she can't move. Any, there's no hopscotching. So she would only move one. Her two trucks would basically clog each other up. But if she goes north, she's going to have to... She, I'm going to make four bucks off of her passing two of my stations. Which one will she reach first as well? That's the question. One, two, three, four, five, six versus one, two, three, four, five, six. It's the same either way. So if she goes this way, um, her trucks are going to be bumping over each other. If she goes that way, she's going to be helping me. I think, I think, I think she's going to go north. So she goes one, two. She drove by my station. I made two bucks. Yay! And uh, so now, every time... Here's the interesting thing. Every time she plays a black card in the future, both of these trucks will move because they're both on the black Autobahn. So Jen is going to be even more efficient with her picking up and delivering. So that's very, very cool indeed. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Now, eventually, this one's going to stay on black. This one's going to switch over to red. So it's only for a little while that she gets that double benefit. But hey, um, you know, getting multiple trucks on the black Autobahn, that's a cool thing. So that was it for Jen. And remember... Every time she loads a truck, she moves one step forward, and boom, she just got herself a promotion. Now, here's the deal. If she had already been bumped to get somebody up here in the lobby, then she could go on ahead and take this space, which turns money into points at the end of the game, or because she invested in trucks, she can her unique deliveries can earn her points at the end of the game. Unfortunately, she doesn't have anybody in the lobby. So when you get a promotion and you don't have somebody in the lobby to promote, instead, you just take one from the supply and you put it in the lobby. So that means in the future, Jen will be able to promote that. Okay, which is kind of not the best use of this space, but hey, she's getting closer and closer to starting to make eight bucks and getting promotions like crazy. So she's still happy. All right, so that was Jen's turn. It is my turn. Two more things get built and this era is over. Um, right, so what are we going to do? Well, um, I will keep on working uh, towards my ultimate goal. I'm going to play orange. I'm going to build a line. It's a single, so it's going to cost me six, which Jen just helped pay for. And boom. And now, hey, uh, Cologne is worth uh, two. And Frankfurt is not worth anything more because it's not like we've connected another thing to it. So, But that has made the orange line, which I have sole control over, even more valuable for when the end of the era comes up. That's cool. I'm happy about that. Okay, 
It is Jen's turn. She would like to play a black card. She does not have a black card. So Jen, she is going to recall her cards and get four bucks. Alrighty. Three and four. Okay, cool. Back to me. Okay. So, um, what do I want to do now? I... Are there any more... I, I, build, I, I could build another station, but I need my black card back. Uh, um, we skipped over this station here. If I'd gone like this, or like this, then I could build a station. But it's a station that no one will ever drive by because it's an incomplete um, link, so that's no good. This is interesting. I could play red. <gasps> Ooh, that's fun. Okay. Okay, folks. It's time for a power move. I'm playing red. I'm building again. Uh, I'm building a single slot. It's going to cost me... Let's see, am I building a single slot? Well, I was thinking I was going to build this, because then I can build blue, and I, I, you know, I, I, I could do more stuff without needing the orange. But I could come down here and start going this way, which gets me access to another station. And you know I like making stations, because it makes my stations more powerful. Uh, but no, I'm, I'm going to go the wrong way. I'm going to build there... I have built the last route. At the end of my turn, it's the end of the first era, and there is going to be a reckoning, a monetary reckoning. Hoorah! Okay, so I built that. It cost me six. I believe I already paid that. I also believe that puts uh, somebody on the red. And oh, look at this. I get all the red income now. And Jen has two people to promote. And it's like, why didn't you do that sooner? So I could have actually used that cool promotion. Say la vie. All right, so Dortmund is now connected to an Autobahn. It's a two. And Cologne is connected to cities on two Autobahns, so it's a four. Boom. Look at that. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Although, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that has just made the red line more valuable, and I get everything on the red line. Just like that. Okay. And uh, that was my turn. I have never loaded a truck, so I'm not moving trucks or anything like that. Jen's the uh, shipping magnate. But at the end of my turn... All 10 roads have been built. And so now it is time to do the end of an era. So first of all, um, the player who built the last segment, that's me, gets a promotion. Thank you very much. Hey, how about you start working your way up the corporate ladder? Now, I could not move up here because I have not unlocked shipping technology or upgrade technology. I could move here to make money worth points at the end of the game, but I'm moving up here to make my stations worth points. Yeah, that's a promotion for me. Hoorah. Okay, then... Um, all right, if, if, if we were ending the earn period, everybody would get one more turn and the game would be over. All right, but now we assign budgets. The federal budget comes down, and who gets the majority of the money to maintain all these motorways? Well, first of all, we have to check our efficiency cards, and then we distribute income from roads. And here's my sad story. My efficiency card is useless because I did not make it to Amsterdam. I failed. But Jen succeeded. Remember, she drafted the better one, the one that was easier to do. So what we have to do now is determine um, how efficient her line from Mannheim to Copenhagen is. So what we do is we count the number of steps, the number of sections. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And from that, we subtract the number of upgrades and the number of stations. And now this is interesting. My stations are actually going to help Jen because it was, it was seven, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are two stations, my stations. My stations are making Jen's line more efficient. So you, in a perfect world, you want an efficiency of zero, meaning there's no hangups. It's perfect efficiency because if I have perfect efficiency, or if Jen did, she would get 10 plus 10 plus two promotions. Now, as it happens, um, she's going to make 10 bucks for having this completed. But if she can get down to four, efficiency, she'll get 10 bucks and a promotion. Again, you want to be closer and closer to zero. Jen had seven, six, five. So if Jen had just gotten one more, she could have actually gotten a promotion out of this. Now, how would she have gotten that? Well, here's the thing. Nobody, the one thing you haven't seen me do so far, folks, because nobody's invested in the technology or anything is nobody has played a card to say upgrade a line. If Jen had it before, before this happened, if say Jen had had time to upgrade, right? Uh, and say she didn't do something else, she upgraded. And say she upgraded this. Now, a few things would have happened. First of all, that would have put another one of her workers at the red desk and, and, and bumped somebody out so she'd have more control. And that would increase the value. Or, oh, oh, here's the thing. If she wanted to upgrade this, she would have to pay double. She would have had to pay 12 to upgrade both of them. You could upgrade just a single 
or you can upgrade a double, but it has to be done all at once. So if Janet had 12 bucks and she had upgraded these, then what would have happened is that would have made this city even more valuable uh, because uh, it was connected via an upgraded line. And because there'd be two upgrades along here, it would be seven minus uh, my two stations minus these two upgrades means it would be three and Jen would almost be getting, if she could get her efficiency down to a two, she'd be making 20 bucks off of that. So you can see why she is incentivized to upgrade all of these roads. But nobody did it yet. Upgrading makes the cities more valuable, which is important if you're going to get income from the, from the autobahns the cities are on. And upgrading makes your routes more efficient. Plus, another thing, if a truck starts its turn its movement on a space that is upgraded, it will get to move one bonus extra step. So if Jin had been upgrading al anywhere along this line, these trucks would be able to make their deliveries faster and her line would be more efficient, which means she could potentially get more bonuses. But as it is, one more time, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, minus two is five, which means she just gets 10. She didn't get 10 plus the promotion. She just needed to be a tiny bit more efficient. But hey, I didn't even finish my line, so say la vie. All right, so we've re resolved that. Everybody checks, did you finish your line? How efficient is it? How much of a reward do you get for having a really efficient delivery uh, uh, Autobahn? Next up, we are going to check every road, distribute income, every road that has workers on it is going to pay out. And this is where I'm going to make out uh, like a bandit because I own white, I own orange, I own red. Where Jen, granted, Jen gets the lion's share of black and we're splitting purple. So let's start resolving these. Um, let's do white first because it's really simple. On the white, on the white autobahn, there are um, one, two, three cities of value. Uh, even though this isn't directly connected, it still is connected back around. So, hey, Jen, help me out. So the value of the white Autobahn is 10. 4 plus 4 plus 2 is 10. And I get all of it. Boom. I just made 10 bucks. So that makes up for the 10 bucks I didn't make off my efficiency. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, so and white is resolved. Let's look at orange. Orange has... Uh, oh, orange is a very valuable Autobahn. 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I am here alone. I am making 14 off of that. Boombity, boombity, boombity. So, and again, I don't share this with Jen. Jen, I did the lion's share of the construction of the Autobahn in this first era. So I'm going to get the lion's share of the reward. Jen invested more in technology. She is setting herself up long-term for deliveries. She has made more progress over here. So she's going a different way. Um, and remember, money isn't worth points unless you get a promotion up here. And even still, it's not worth very much. Uh, 20 bucks is worth one, two, or three points or more if you get multiple uh, upgrades over there. So anyway, so that was orange. Let's uh, do all my reds because I, I, again, I don't have to split it with nobody. Although it's not quite so good. All right, it's not bad. Four uh, plus four is eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Remember, I, that's why I snuck this in. It triggered the end, and it gave me two more bucks on my, because I consider this to be mine. So that's 14, goes to me. All righty. Give me 15, and I'm sure I can give back one. Boom. Bump, bump. Okay. And, um, right, so that was that. Now we got to split. Let's look at purple. Okay, where are purple? Purple, purple, where are you? Purple is worth two, four, uh, eight. Uh, we split it, so we each get four. So if I got to split something, I want to split something that's not worth very much. And I'm okay with that. Because not very much investment was done on purple. Is that right? Yep. Okay. All right. And now the big kahuna, the black line, which Jen gets two-thirds. So we've connected to Milan. So that's four, eight, 12, 16, 17, 18, um, 22, 26. So if I've done my math right, and I might have updated some uh, cities wrong. If so, well, that's why you're watching the Klingon subtitles, folks. But anyway, there that 26 gets divided three ways. Rounded down, unfortunately. So that is what? Jen makes 16, I make 8. Right. Right? Uh, hold on a second. Yeah, it's 8, right? Um, yeah, I think that's right. Again, if I'm wrong, that's what Klingon subtitles are for. All righty. bippity boppity boo So... I made out like a bandit. I am rich. But Jen, she has invested in different places. And there we are at the end of the first stage. Oh, another thing. Jen was so doing this kind of stuff, she gave up on 12 bucks because we're moving on to the next era. Um, now, I have lost one of my potential employees. So that's a thing. 
But Jen has upgraded her deck. She's got two people on deck. She's still getting the majority of the income from the black line. And she still has enough money to start investing in places and trying to kick me out over here. So don't worry about her. She's doing fine. But anyway, that was me. I triggered the end. And now it's Jen's turn. And she can keep going. She probably wants to play this black card. She wants to get both her, dr her trucks driving. Maybe, though, maybe she would like to upgrade one of these spaces, as you just saw, to make her line more efficient. And it means her truck will drive faster, as an example. What is she going to do? I'm not quite sure, folks. But I think I'm going to stop right there, because that should give you a pretty good idea of the basics of Autobahn. And uh, now, if you'd like to hear some final thoughts, you can hit that eye in the top right corner screen or follow the show notes in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.